this is a little sub lesson um, out of uh, the section on circles. I really want you to get the idea of, of what changes when we change to inequalities and circles or any other, anything. Um, let's talk about a circle. X squared plus Y squared equals 9. Circle is all the points that are e certain distance from the center, and it, they're equidistant from that center. So this is all the points whose distance is three units from the center, in which in this case, the center is zero, zero. Now what if we change that to greater than or equal to? That means we're talking about all the points whose distance is greater than or equal to. Okay, so really think about that. Three units, let's just say we can, you know, out three, okay. If we're equal to three units away, we get a nice solid circle because we're talking about every single point that is three units from the center. Greater than or equal to three, you're including any points that are further than three units. So four units, five units, six units, all on infinity. So you're talking about all of these points out here. Now what if that changed to greater than but not or equal to? So how would your graph change? Well, not equal to 3, 3.1 is fine, but not 3 would mean I'm not going to include the points on that line. So we would have a dashed line, and then we're talking about the points on the outside. Okay, what if it changed to less than or equal to? Well, gosh, less than or equal to means I'm going to include the line less than that distance. If I'm less than three units away, I've got to be next to it. What about not or equal to? Well, that would mean I'd have a dotted line or a dashed line, and I'd be just including the points inside. 